Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to freeze panes in Excel. This will allow you to keep important data in view and better navigate large spreadsheets. Let's start with the simplest example. I have a sheet that contains a table with sales data for individual stores. Right now, I'm scrolling down and as you've probably noticed, the header disappears from view, which creates some inconvenience for me. So, how do we achieve the desired result? The thing is, at this moment, the entire table is just a regular range of data. That's how Excel recognizes it. To fix this, I'll click on any cell within this range and press the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus A. Okay, now that the entire working range is selected, I'll press Ctrl plus T. I'll check the box in this dialog since my table has headers. I click OK. Done. Now Excel recognizes this range as a table. This time, when I scroll down, the header continues to be visible, which is exactly what I need. Regarding the color style, it is set by default immediately after converting a range of data into a table. Don't worry, the style can easily be changed in the Table Design tab. You can also choose a blank format to revert to the original look. Alright, in the next example, I will use the specific tool for freezing panes. It's located in the View tab. In the drop-down list, there are three options available for setup. My task is to keep the header of the table, which consists of three rows, fixed. Unfortunately, the previous method won't help here since it only allows you to freeze one row. So, to achieve the desired result, I will select a cell in the first column of the table, which is one row below the header. Then, from the drop-down list, I will select the Freeze Panes command. This tells Excel that I want to freeze only that part of the sheet that starts from the first row and ends at the third. That's why I selected the cell at address A4 before freezing this area, as it serves as the boundary that concludes the effect of the setting I chose. Now the header of the table is frozen while the rest of the sheet remains the same. To undo this setting, I need to select the Unfreeze Panes command. Let's look at another example. How about freezing not just the table header, but also a couple of columns? In this case, I need to slightly adjust the boundary setting. So, I will select cell C4 and choose the command you're already familiar with. Done. The areas are now frozen. Also, note that there are other commands in the drop-down list. For instance, I just froze only the first row. Now, I'll freeze only the first column. If you want to use such settings, make sure that the table is strictly at the very beginning of the sheet, as this freezing works specifically with the sheet, not with the separate object like a table. If I now move the table a little further, only the empty rows and columns will be frozen, so be careful. And that's it for this lesson. Thank you for your attention and good luck with your studies. Goodbye.